What do y'all think of the show so far? Are y'all ready for your headliner? For the main event of main event comedy coming up right now. The man you came to see, even if you didn't know it. You might not know it when you came to the door, but by God, you don't know it when it's over. Even though he calls himself Mr. Irrelevant. I don't know about that. Give it up right now for Mr. Shane Knowles! <laughs> Man, y'all heard some good stuff tonight, and I'm here to kill it in a bad way. Yeah. Yeah. I spilled beer on my good shirt, so I had to go to this fucking like Walmart Banana Republic shit. Uh, so y'all bear with me, probably the first and only time I'll be sporting this bottom of churches tomorrow. Um, man, summertime's coming up. We made it, guys. Graduations is you know taking place. It's summertime. It's time for vacations. Anybody got a vacation already planned up? Well, you made it right, man. We work hard and we deserve that stuff. And I love vacation. I love staying in hotels because I can slam that AC down to 55 degrees and ain't my fucking fire. So the only thing I don't like about hotels is hotel towels. The hotel towels, man, they're so thick. They're so fluffy. Fuck, I can barely close my suitcase. <laughs> I know what's going on since I sent you guys last. Congratulations to uh, Oscar winner Robert De Niro, who earlier this week just became a father again at the age of 79. I guess uh, his wife can change both their diapers now. <laughs> and I just wonder, like, who impregnated, who thinks to impregnate a woman at 79 years old? You know, is she walking around the house giving out clues like, I've got baby fever? Does he turn around? <laughs> you know, you know, right here. You know I mean? Personally, I think uh, having a child at the age of 79 is kind of like Marilyn Manson removing his ribs so that he can suck his own dick. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. <laughs> uh, what else is going on? I saw. Uh, <laughs> I saw where uh, Morgan Wallen. No showed a country music show a few weeks ago. Now Morgan Wallen is to country music like I am to Jenny Craig, in my opinion. But him no showing a concert, that is the most country music fucking outlaw thing he's done. Yeah. You know? Good for him. But there's a lady that's actually suing Morgan Wallen for not showing up. Apparently she wants a refund on the dress and the boots that she's got. But you know, back in our day, when George Jones and Hank Williams Jr. didn't show up, we didn't fucking sue them. We stayed in the parking lot and we listened to their CDs. There you go. CDs are a compact disc or the artist that put the music on this little shiny silver plastic and you actually owned it physically instead of streaming it off a cumulus cloud. VHS. Yeah, all my T-ball games got taken over when mom and dad started having a little fun on Saturday night. Fuck me, it is. I lost a good goddamn copy of WrestleMania 6 with Hulk Hogan and Ultimate Warrior because Pops was feeling frisky around me. I never did find out who won that match until a couple of weeks ago. Google it. Anybody here on OnlyFans? Thank you. You all right. So I finally got some people that will admit that shit, and I'm proud of you. Because a lot of times when I ask that stuff, it gets quiet. Like somebody just farted in church quiet, but people will actually admit it. You have an OnlyFans. It's a good money making tool, right? It really is. And uh, I would like to tell you guys that OnlyFans is now offering a delivery service. Just pull out your phones and download the Hordash app. But if you are, uh, if you're kind of antsy about how much it costs on OnlyFans, you can try it for free. Just use Instagram. <laughs> I did see earlier this week where Playboy has launched a new online site to compete with OnlyFans. Now, OnlyFans has kind of had the rule of the roost the last two or three years, but if you thought Playboy was going to take this shit lying down, 
Well, you might be right. <laughs> oh, man. I'm trying to give you, not just make you guys laugh, I'm going to give you some words of wisdom, some advice. Uh, you mentioned Google earlier. If you ever choose the Google grandfather clock, don't leave out the letter L. <laughs> Learn that one. You know, sometimes I think it wouldn't be bad being a hostage because sometimes it's just nice to be held. You know? <laughs> I'm old too. I gotta look at some of this shit. Cause, you know, there's always this shirt I'm sporting. <laughs> we were talking about OnlyFans. Speaking of sex, the last girl I was with, she told me we were in bed. She said. You can stick it in my butt if you turn the lights off. Well, after hearing her scream two or three times, I was like, fuck, I probably should let the bulb cool off first. <laughs> Well, first of all, I don't fucking listen to the Macarena, but whoa, Los Lobos is still making music? 
You guys got anything from Chumbawamba and Butthole Surfers while you're at it? Because I'm kind of curious. I think my neighbors are spying on me. That sucks. The other day I was home, I put on a shirt, and I heard, Thanks, fucker! Really? <laughs> I was like, I gotta get those lines fixed. Oh, man, y'all are such a good crowd. You guys been drinking? I've been, you know? Going to church in the morning? You want my shirt? <laughs> So we got some people this first time here at Happy Hour. Is that right? So I heard earlier, I couldn't have to, where the fuck is my beer? Oh, thank you. I said, y'all been drinking. <laughs> so um, I know we got some Roll Tide fans up in here. I am not an Alabama fan, but I do respect that team. I do respect what Coach Saban has built. Over the last, absolutely, last 13 years, they are the creme de la creme of college football. You cannot deny it. But I'm always kind of tickled, Alabama fans, when some... <laughs> no, 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 this is something positive, in a positive light. When someone graduates from Alabama that plays football, any pro football fans in here? Miami Dolphin fans in here? I'm a Miami Dolphin fan. The quarterback for the Miami Dolphins is currently Tua Tagovailoa, who played at the University of Alabama. And then a team that just lost the Super Bowl back in February to the Kansas City Chiefs. There's no shame in losing to Patrick Mahomes. But the quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles is Jalen Hurts, also from Alabama. And it never fails when Tua Tagovailoa throws a touchdown pass or Jalen Hurts runs one into the end zone. You're sitting there watching with your buddy. You got your beer on the floor like I do. And they'll tell you, built by Bama, baby. <laughs> built by Bama. Yeah. Doesn't matter if it's a running back, quarterback, offensive lineman, punter, hell into the water for you. If they go further in line, built by Bama. <laughs> but we don't do that with other things, do we? When Taylor Hicks was making his big run on American Idol Soul Patrol from Birmingham, Alabama, I didn't hear no built by Bama when he was dominating American Idol. When our own governor, our ex-governor, Robert Bentley, was fucking his advisor, Miss Mason, did you know that he now runs a medical practice where she works for him in the city of Tuscaloosa? If it gets any hotter up here, I won't have this fucking baby. I'm just kidding. You guys, uh, you're all online. We've already established there's only fans going on here. You get tired of changing your passwords from time to time? Jesus Christ, what is up with this stuff? I have had the same password for every website since 2008, and I'll let you guys in on what it was. It was the word Alu card and the number 44. 44 being the number that I sported, wearing football, baseball, and basketball. Alu card is the word Dracula, spelled backwards. That shit worked great for 13 years. Now, I don't care if it's Amazon, eBay, OnlyFans. They tell me, you know what? That password's not strong enough. It's weak. You need to use a strong password. You need to change it to something with eight characters. So I put in Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. <laughs> And then they flagged my account for suspicious activity. And that was my last day on Christian Mingle. <laughs> Needless to say, that whole experience left me saltier than mermaid pussy. I'm honest about it. I'm gonna shoot you guys straight. You've been here a good while. You send a lot of comments. You put down a lot of booze. You put down a lot of food. Give yourselves a good applause for coming out tonight at Happy Hour. Now what I want every individual in here to do, whether you work with somebody, you got friends, I want you to tell them about this place, because we're trying to build this thing up, but uh, comments much better than I, Flint works hard to get people in here. Thank you, Mr. Flint Connor, for having this evening. Oh, I love you too. So I was talking about websites. Anybody else in here been to Facebook jail? 
I just got my ankle bracelet off yesterday. <laughs> I have been in Facebook jail so many times. They told me the next time I go, it's just going to be me and fucking Red from Shawshank Redemption playing a green harmonica. <laughs> I wish I could tell you what I was getting. Oh man, Facebook community pages. I feel like every community, and they should, has an official Facebook page, whether it be Piedmont or Ohatchee or Gadsden or Anniston or Oxford, East Goshen, everywhere, Pleasant Valley, everybody's got a community page. But those community pages, I think, were established with good purpose. We want to let you know about our first Friday celebration, or perhaps our chili cook off, or a rook tournament. Or there's a fundraiser this weekend with a band playing. Not shit like I see every week. Hey, to them three teenagers that was driving them four wheelers down my road, you knocked over my daisies and my hibiscus, and my cat got so fucking scared it run over our neighbors and they won't give it back. <laughs> that is the community group. Or if you see those Facebook posts, you're scrolling through your feet. Somebody got a car alarm? Oh, Facebook police is here for me. I got to talk and shit. Well, here's something you can ban, I think. Um, or you see these Facebook posts, you're scrolling. Think about it. Whether you're at your cubicle at work or your desk or like me, you're driving in traffic. Um, <laughs> you look on Facebook and you see to the person who cut me off in traffic, I hope you have a rotten day. Yeah. Or to the person who jumped in line in front of me at Zaxby's and stole the last wings and things they had, that was the only thing I liked from that motherfucking restaurant. Now I'm hungry as hell. <laughs> All I can think is, quit being such a pussy. Grow a set of balls and talk to this individual who ruined your day and don't put it on your Facebook wall to your friend. Because that person you have the problem with is probably not going to see this post, but they may pop up in the people you may know suggested by the end of the day. Possibly. Speaking of Facebook, my friend Lisa, she had 200 friends on her Facebook list. This past week, Lisa added 500 new friends. You know what Lisa has now? A boob job. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I tell you what, that battery's going to go out. Yeah. Let's all go investigate together. Yeah. Look at that, it cuts off right on my stage. There we go. Let's see. Oh, I'm glad you got that straightened out. Anybody in here ever been to Denver, Colorado? Yeah. Is it as nice as they say? Yeah. No. <laughs> Well, I've never had the chance to join the Mile High Club, but I don't give a flying fuck, I'll be honest with you. It's back again. I think it's your ashtray. My car, it's got a button that says rear wiper on it. Shit, I'm gonna fucking break your press it, I'll be honest with you. Talk about an alarm. Today I saw somebody that was waving at me, but I couldn't tell if they were waving at me, the person beside me, or the person behind me. But I tell you guys, I have to tell you anyway, I'm a really shitty lifeguard. <laughs> Be careful out there, son. This past Monday, I could not find a spot, a parking spot at work, and I just went home. I said, fuck it, they got enough food. <laughs> Band can attest to <laughs> So, I want to let you guys in. You know, not only is it summer, we're all ready for our vacations. I want you guys, you go see a movie in the summer. That's when all the big blockbusters come out. The, the comic book movies, the sequels, some of those that Buck Jenkins was talking about, the remake. But I'm going to let you know, you guys probably don't know this. I saw this information yesterday. There is a new James Bond film headed to theaters this summer. This will be the 28th 007 film, putting it up there with Godzilla as one of the longest continuously operating Hollywood franchises. 
And you know, if you watch the James Bond film from the 70s to the 80s to the 90s to the aughts to now, you will know that James Bond always tries to keep up with new trends. Whatever the latest gadgets are, whatever the latest vehicles are, you can tell by a Bond film when you're watching it when it was made. The new James Bond film, number 28, is actually going to keep up with modern trends because it's going to be James Bond, his transition from a man to a woman. So this summer, get ready. The title of this new picture, Dick to Pussy. Cardi B. 
You know, we, we have some names that aren't just, they're not around much anymore. You know, names like Benny and Nicholas. What's the short form of Nicholas, sir? Nick. Thomas. William. Billy. How do we get Billy from William? Or Richard Dick. Lady asked me at work, she's like, how the hell do we get Dick from Richard? I was like, you probably start by buying him a drink. <laughs> so, it was on this day, 12 years ago, that the most colorful pro wrestler in history, Macho Man Randy Savage, left us. He died May 20th, 2011. And I have always tried to do my part. Oh, that's right. Give it up for the Macho Man. I've always got to do my part to keep his spirit alive. And you know, my thing is, wrestlers in movies now. John Cena's in movies. Randy Orton's in movies. Arguably the biggest star in Hollywood right now is Dwayne Johnson, formerly known as The Rock. But back in the day, it was kind of frowned upon. It wasn't that big for wrestlers to be in movies. Now, we've got a little dalliance with it towards the end of Macho Man's life when he played Bonesaw McGraw in the first Spider-Man film. Woo! These are kind of thoughts I think about when I'm sitting home alone and the power goes out. I said thoughts. What goes on in this head if you don't want to know? From a person that would actually wear this fucking shirt on stage, you don't want to know what goes on the thing right now. But, uh, I think about, man, if we could have had, if it was so cool for wrestlers to be in movies back then, like it is now, I think Macho Man Randy Savage could have handled a lot of those very important parts with some very vital lines that you all remember. Like you're watching The Sixth Sense, the first time you ever saw an M. Night Shyamalan movie, tell me it would not be better when you got ready to hear that iconic line if you didn't hear I see mm. Or you're watching Jaws and he goes, We're gonna need a bigger boat. A lot of people don't know, I know you do, sir. Who did, my, what sport did Macho Man Randy Savage play? Baseball. He was the second baseman for the Cincinnati Reds before he ever set foot into the squared circle of professional wrestling. Couldn't you imagine him instead of Tom Hanks in a league of their own? There ain't no play. I think Macho Man could have handled romantic comedies too. Jerry Maguire. You hit me at hello. <laughs> or maybe when Harry met Sally, when Meg Ryan's having that huge orgasm in the diner. I'll have what she's having. Thank you guys for your time. I am Shane Noel.